This unprecedented commitment by artists in Cameroon requesting their dues comes at a time when companies exploiting their art are reportedly on their knees due to the advent of the COVID-19. The, the essence is to send a strong message to users who over the years have not paid, taking advantage of the, the confusion that was in, within our milieu. And we are letting them know that there's no CMC, no Sonacam, no Sosiladra. We are all one. And we have one objective, which is the interest of the artists. And we are moving like one person to them. Speaking during the meeting Wednesday, the award-winning artist, amongst many, underlined problems relating to the value given foreign artists as compared to that given home-based artists. On the other hand, the process to recover these artists' dues, which is considered a priority from various brewing companies and even media organs that exploit their works of art, is reportedly on the way. This thanks to a decision that the minister signed in 2020 permitting TMC to recover arrears. And, we are, and their arrears are for all artists of all the different categories. So we are moving together out. Uh, letters have been sent out. Uh, am amounts have been calculated and we are ready to f force it through to make sure that this money is paid so that the Cameroonian artists can come out of misery. But not all the artists are in tandem with the meta chosen. <laughs> A majority, on the other hand, are ready to give their hearts in time to make this happen. Uh, all the artists will be ready to go and sleep in front of them. We saw the, uh, the syndicate uh, say it. All the artists are ready to come out like one man uh, to reclaim what is rightly theirs. Expectations are high that this foundation meeting will be the beginning of a long and fruitful artistic journey that will enable Cameroonian artists blossom in the country and abroad.